Today we're going to take a look at graphing absolute values in the coordinate plane. We did this with quadratics, so the process is pretty much the same. So step number one, graph the boundary, which in this case is the V, like the U was for the parabola. And you can determine your coordinates of the vertex right from the equation. So the H, K, remember, is the vertex. If this is a negative H, then the vertex for the X value has a positive H. Prepare your table. Graph the, should say, graph the V, okay? So for a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, we use a solid V, and that's because of the equal to line. And without that line, for less than or greater than, we use a dotted V. So for down below, let's start with just that piece. This is a greater than symbol not equal to, and it's a positive absolute value, so it's right side up. And well, actually, um, I was going to go back and make it dotted with an eraser, but I'll start with it being dotted. So greater than, right side up, this is dotted. La greater than or equal to, and it's upside down, means it's going to be solid, and again, the negative is upside down. We'll go back and shade. Less than or equal to a positive absolute value of x, so that's right side up and solid. And then last is less than a negative absolute value of x, so that's dotted and upside down. So to determine where to shade, you can always pick a point that's not in your, um, not on the V, and so we can't pick zero, zero. So let's do one, two, three, zero. One, two, three, zero. We'll use this point for each one. One, two, three, zero. And to test, I'm just going to plug it in. So y is zero. Is zero greater than the absolute value of three? Well, the absolute value of three is three. Is zero greater than three? No. So I don't want to shade where that point is. So rather than shading on the outside, I would shade within the V or above your vertex. Here, testing is zero greater than or equal to the negative of the absolute value of three, which would be a negative three. So is zero greater than or equal to a negative three? That is true. So I want to shade where that point is, which would be above the V or above the vertex. Testing here is zero less than or equal to the absolute value of three. Zero is less than or equal to three, that's true, so I want to shade where that point is. So we shade for a less than below. And last is zero less than the absolute value, or the negative absolute value of three. Zero is less than a negative um, oh, I'm sorry, it's not less than. It's a Friday afternoon. Um, zero is not less than negative three, so that's false. I do not want to shade where three zero is, so we're going to shade below. So we always to determine where to shade or to verify that we shade in the, in the appropriate area or region, we want to test a point. So that shaded area is your solution region. And a good point to test, if possible, is zero, zero. But if there's no shift left or right or up or down, um, then we can't test zero, zero. So this first part is just to graph the solution set. We're not trying to find the solution set, so we just want to represent the picture of the inequality in the coordinate plane. So looking here, uh, this is the same as having a plus zero at the end. So if you want to determine your vertex, your vertex is these... Uh, is using these two points. Remember, the x value is going to be opposite, so that's negative 4, that's positive 4, and then the 0 for the k. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 is my vertex. Now I go to my table on the calculator to get the rest of the points, and it goes from 1 to 7. 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, so therefore 1, 2, 3, 
if I reflect or reverse the y values. So at 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 5, 1, so it's a slope of 1. Because the symbol is greater than and not greater than or equal to, this is a dotted per, er, V, and what's said parabola. And now to determine where to shade. Because 0, 0 is not on the boundary or on the V, I can test 0, 0. We test it in the original. In the original, uh, inequality is y greater than the absolute value of x minus 4. So is 0 greater than the absolute value of 0 minus 4? Well, this is a negative 4, and once you take the absolute value, we have 0 greater than 4, which is false. So I don't want to shade where 0, 0 is, so I'm going to shade on this side. On the back side, number two, graph the solution set. So looking at the inequality, the vertex is going to be negative two, negative five. So left, one, two, down, one, two, three, four, five. Now to the calculator for my table of values. It goes from negative five to one for x. And then 1, negative 1, negative 3. So then reverse it, negative 3, negative 1, 1. So left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1, 4, down 1, 3, down 3, 2, negative 5, 1, negative 3, 0, negative 1. Now back to the inequality. Because it has the equal to, this is going to be a solid V. And we can use 0, 0 to test as it's not on the V. So if I test 0, 0, is 0 greater than or equal to 2 times absolute value of 0 plus 2 minus 5. Well, this is 2, and the absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Is 0 greater than or equal to negative 1? That is true. So we want to shade where 0, 0 is. Last one. Graph the solution set. So looking at the HK, the vertex is 3, 6. 1, 2, 3, 3, 6. So we're going to go from 0 to 6 for x. We go 0, 4.5, so it'd be 6. 4.5, 1, 5, so 5, 5, 2, 5.5, 5, so 4, 5.5. 5. So right, 1, 2, 3, up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now going back here to this equation, um, just to make sense of this number out front, the slope, you notice from each point is up to over 1, up to over 1, up to over 1 or up to over one this way, okay? So down here, our slope is one half, which it's why it makes it wide. It's also upside down. And when I graph these, I like to graph the points which have whole numbers. So I'll even gather some more from my table. I'll go up to negative one and seven to get the next um, y value. So I graphed three, six, so now one, one, two, three, four, five. And you can see that over to up one for the slope. So you can continue to do that. So down one over two, down one over two, down one over two if you're sketching it by hand. Back to the symbol, it is a dotted V. And we can test zero, zero to um, determine where to shade. Zero, zero is not on the B. So is zero less than negative one half times the absolute value of zero minus three plus six. Zero minus three is a negative three, but the absolute value is a positive three. And negative one half times three is negative 1.5 plus six is four and a half. 
zero is less than that, so I want to shade where zero, zero is. Now to finish, we're just going to look at these um, graphs. This is an equation, because there is no dotted or solid parabola, and there's no shading, where this is going to be an inequality because of that dotted parabola and shaded region. So you want to look at how the vertex moved in the slope of your V. So from 0, 0, we moved left, 2, down, 5. You can also just make note of your vertex, which is negative 2, negative 5. And moving from one point to the next, it's up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. So the slope is 1, and it's right side up. So given the graph, it's always y equals. So it's right side up, no change uh, other than a slope of 1. So absolute value of x plus 2. Remember, in the equation, it's opposite, minus 5. And here, let's leave the symbol out, okay, till we determine where we um, are shading. And let's just take a look at the vertex, which is over 1, up 5. So it's going to be absolute value of x minus 1 plus 5. Let's look at the slope, down 1 over 1. So the slope is 1, that's fine. And now we need to determine where to shade. Well, if I test 0, 0, okay, in, say, the inequality um, y greater than, because I'm shading above, so I think it should be greater than the absolute value of x minus 1 plus 5. Is 0 greater than the absolute value of 0 minus 1 plus 5? So 1 plus 5 is 6, and 0 is not greater. So that is false, and I'm not shading there. So this makes sense. You can also test a point in your solution um, area. So let's do 6, 6 here so we don't make a mistake in what we're plugging in. Again, I think it's greater than because we're shading above. There's no equal to line because it's dotted. I tested 0, 0, it came out to be false, which makes sense because I didn't shade there. So let's just double check again to make sure 6 works. Is 6 greater than the absolute value of 6 minus 1 plus 5? 6 minus 1 is 5, absolute value is 5, and 5 plus 5, um, Okay, 5 plus 5 is 10, which is not less than 6. However, what I'm forgetting is the negative sign. It's upside down. So 6, again, it's negative of the absolute value. So is 6 greater than a negative 5 plus 5? Yes, 6 is greater than 0. So don't forget the negative as I just did um, when your V is upside down.